Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about uh, reduction of switched capacitances. Okay. So in the previous section, we have seen effect of switched capacitances in the dynamic power dissipation of the circuit. Hence, the reduction of this parasitic capacitance is a major goal for low power design of digital integrator circuits. Okay. So due to the switched capacitance, there will be a dynamic power consumption. So to avoid that uh, switched ca capacitance, we have different methods. Okay. So to reduce the amount of switched capacitance, we have various techniques at the system level and circuit level and physical design level or mask level. Okay. So here, how this system level will uh, reduces the switched capacitance. So we will see now. So system level measures, right? So at the system level, one approach to reduce the switched capacitance is to limit the use of shared resources. Okay. So that is the first one. At the system level, one approach to reduce the switched capacitance is to limit the use of shared resources. Okay, so for to explain this point, uh, I will consider a diagram here. So this is the diagram, right? So a simple example is the use of a global bus structure for data transmission between a large number of operational modules. Okay, so here we have this one is one module and this one is another module, this one is another module, and then at the same time, this one is another module. For all these modules, the data communication bus uh, are the uh, is nothing but data transmission bus is nothing but uh, a, a single bus. Okay, so that is what here we have global bus structure, right? A simple example is the use of global bus structure for data transmission between a large number of operational modules. Okay, so so this is the bus, and the total capacitance is nothing but uh, C suffix bus. Okay, if a single shared bus is connected to all the modules as shown in figure, this structure results in the large bus capacitance due to the large number of drivers and receivers sharing the same transition media. Okay, so here if you consider this one, for all these modules, uh, only we have uh, a one global bus that is shared. So what happened here is nothing but uh, the bus capacitance uh, will be increases due to large number of drivers and receivers commonly sharing a single bus. Okay, so because of that one here, uh, the capacitance will be increases. Next one is the parasitic capacitance of the long bus line. Okay, the parasitic capacitance of the long bus line. So if you want to supply for more number of uh, drivers or receivers or the more number of modules, that means uh, the length of the global bus is also uh, very uh, lengthy, right? So because of that, we'll get some capacitances. Uh, so that is what here we have uh, studied about uh, this thing uh, uh, at the time of uh, interconnections uh, and at this same time, uh, uh, what we call, uh, uh, if you form uh, a connection or a bus be between different modules or different circuits with uh, uh, metal, aluminum, or if you form with uh, what we call uh, uh, polysilicon, uh, long wire polysilicons uh, we cannot use for the uh, connection of uh, power lines because it offers very high resistance like that here also if you use uh, or if you share uh, that uh, that the transmission medium or transmission bus between different modules uh, so there will be increasing in the parasitic capacitance okay so that is what here if you use the global bus for different modules for the transmission of data so there will be a possibility of increasing the switching capacitance. Okay, so the large number of drivers and receivers sharing the same transmission medium. So due to that, what happened here, the parasitic capacitance of the long bus line will be increases. Okay, so driving the large bus capacitance will require a significant amount of power consumption during each buses. Okay, so driving a large capacitance means uh, it requires more amount of power so that it will increase this dynamic power. Okay, so to avoid uh, uh, due to this uh, uh, switched capacitance, uh, the increasing in the dynamic power, so we have alternate method. That method is nothing but this one. Okay, so alternatively, the global bus structure can be partitioned into a number of smaller dedicated local buses to handle the data transmission between the neighboring modules. Okay, so previously what we have in this diagram is we have only single line, okay, single bus or global bus we have. 
so what we will do is we will divide this one into local buses between the modules okay that's the point alternatively the global bus structure can be partitioned into a number of smaller dedicated local buses to handle the data transmission between neighboring modules okay so in this case the switched capacitance during each bus access is significantly reduced although multiple buses may be increase the overall routing area on the chip okay maybe uh, this multiple buses using will be increases the area but what happened is the power consumption will be reduced because the switched capacitance value is reducing because of using of this local buses okay so that's why here we have to uh, use in this example instead of using global bus structure so we will use the local buses between the modules so this one is one local bus and this one is another local bus and this will be supplied for uh, this is the transmission line or transmission bus for all these modules and the, here this uh, arrow mark or triangle will indicate uh, one is the transmission and another one is receiving okay so here if you observe here also we have so both the transmission and receiving of data will be done are uh, the drivers and receivers uh, here we have is uh, uh, here this one is uh, it is taking the data from this and it is uh, delivering the data so here you can observe that uh, the output is nothing but uh, uh, output means drivers drivers and receivers okay so here both we can have both uh, transmissions we can have here the transmission means what uh, transmission means uh, transmission that is nothing but transmitter and receiver okay so the transmitter will transmit the data and receiver will receive the data so similarly here also here we have both transmission these two arrow marks will indicates the transmission and receiving both will be taken place through a global bus structure okay so and at the same time all the modules will be shared by this mod this global bus so because of that the parasitic elements or parasitic capacitance increases so to avoid that we will consider uh, local buses so that uh, it will reduces the switched capacitance or parasitic capacitance so but uh, what happened here is uh, what is the limitation of this is nothing but the area will be increases because we are using many local buses so due to that the area will be increased okay so this is about uh, the one method uh, that is reduction of uh, uh, switched capacitance in system level measures right so next what we have is circuit level measures right so what is circuit level measures circuit level measures means if you consider uh, sometimes uh, if you use uh, cmos technology uh, okay so there will be a uh, more power consumption instead of that if you if you use the uh, what we call uh, that is pass transistor logic uh, there will be a speed and uh, power will be reduced power will be uh, power will be reduced and speed will be increased okay so that's what here we have uh, in the circuit level measures right so the type of logic style used to implement a digital circuit also affects the output load capacitance of the circuit that's what here circuit level measures means so which uh, suppose if if you have to implement an and gate or nor gate we can use both technologies that is cmos technology and pass transistor technology okay out of that which one is better we have to decide and we have to implement that okay similarly here the switched capacitance we can reduce by selecting the which technology that is cmos technology or transistor tech uh, pass transistor technology to form our uh, uh, digital circuits okay that is that plays very important role in the reduction of the switched capacitance okay the type of logic style used to implement a digital circuit also affects the output load capacitance of the circuit okay so the capacitance is a function of the number of transistors that are required to implement a given function okay so here as the temp as the number of transistors increases the capacitance will be increased okay so here the type of logic style used to implement a digital circuit is also affects the output load capacitance of the circuit and at the same time the capacitance is a function of number of transistors that required to implement the uh, given function okay so that's why uh, the circuit uh, uh, implementation technique or technology is very important to reduce this uh, uh, capacitance okay for example one approach to reduce the load capacitance is to use the transfer gates or the pass transistor logic instead of conventional cmos logic gates to implement the logic functions okay 
So here we can reduce our uh, capacitance, that is load capacitance, uh, by using uh, our transfer gates, uh, or we can also call as fast transistor logic uh, instead of that uh, uh, conventional CMOS logic gates to implement the logic functions. Because of that, the load capacitance will be reduced. Okay. So fast gate logic design is attractive since fewer transistors are required for certain functions such as XR and XNR gates. Okay. So as compared with uh, our CMOS technology, okay, or CMOS uh, implementation uh, for XR and XNR, if you implement these two gates uh, with respect to the transistors, so that is nothing but fast transistor logic. Uh, so the number of transistors used will be reduced. Okay. So the pass gate logic design is attractive since fewer transistors are required for certain functions such as XR and XNR. Okay. Therefore, this design style has emerged as a promising alternative to conventional CMOS for low power design. Okay. So instead of using CMOS conventional, we are going to use your fast transistor logic uh, to design a XR and XNOR gates because it takes a less number of transistors as compared with the CMOS. Okay. So to go with the low power design in the design of uh, XR and XNOR, we will prefer fast gate logic uh, as compared with the CMOS logic. Okay. In order to provide acceptable output driving cap capabilities, Inverters are usually attached to pass gate outputs, which increases the overall area, time delay, and the switching power dissipation of the logic gate. Because pass transistor structures typically require complementary control signals, uh, dual rail logic is used to provide all signals in complementary form. Okay, so this is also uh, uh, having one disadvantage. If you uh, go with more number of uh, circuits, okay, that is instead of uh, XR and XNR, if you go with large number circuits, so this pass transistor logic is also has a difficulties or the disadvantages. So they will increase the area, they will increase the delay, and at the same time increase the switching power dissipation. So all the uh, quantities are increasing here due to using of this uh, pass transistor logic. But for in, in place of XR and XNR, uh, and this pass transistor logic is uh, important as compared with the CMOS logic and the low power design. So as a consequence, two complementary NMOS transistor networks are necessary in addition to the swing restoration and output bu buffering circuitry, effectively diminishing uh, the inherent advantage of pass transistor logic over conventional CMOS logic. Okay, the use of pass transistor logic gates to achieve low power dissipation must be carefully considered and the choice of logic design style must ultimately be based on the detailed comparison of all design aspects such as silicon area, overall delay, as well as switching power dissipation. Okay. So if you want to use your fast transistor logic uh, instead of uh, CMOS logic, uh, first we have to verify uh, all the uh, aspects of uh, our silicon, our uh, design. That is nothing but area and delay or speed and at the same time the power dissipation. By comparing these three, uh, then only we have to uh, we have to decide uh, whether we have to use the past transistor logic uh, or the CMOS logic. Okay, so that is what uh, uh, the point here. Next one is the final one: the mask level measures. Okay, so the amount of para parasitic capacitance that is switched, charged up, or charged down during the operation can be also reduced uh, at the physical design or mask level design. Okay. The parasitic gate and diffusion capacitance of mass transistors in the circuit typically constitute a significant amount of total capacitance in the combinational logic circuits. That means what here, we already seen that uh, uh, if you consider a uh, transistor gate or uh, a transistor of a gate, or if you consider a uh, what we call uh, uh, NAND gate or NOR gate structures, okay. So NOR gates or NAND gates, they will form with the mass transistors. So mass transistor has gate capacitance and at the same time out cap output capacitance. So all these will include uh, a parasitic capacitance, right? So here we can also reduce this uh, parasitic capacitance at the time of mask level, okay? The, uh, at the time of uh, what we call, uh, at the time of fabrication itself, the parasitic gate and diffusion capacitance of mass transistors in the circuit typically constitute a significant amount of total capacitance in a combination logic circuit. 
okay a simple mask level measure to reduce the power dissipation is keeping the transistor at minimum dimensions whenever uh, possible and feasible thereby minimizing the parasitic capacitance so uh, if we reduce the or if you reduce the dimensions of these transistors uh, uh, we can reduce almost uh, this capacitance okay so designing a logic gate with minimum size transistors certainly affects the dynamic performance of the circuit and this trade off between dynamic performance and power dissipation should be carefully considered in critical circuits okay so if you reduce that uh, dimensions automatically uh, we have seen uh, in the previous discussion that is uh, what happened uh, uh, if you reduce the uh, channel length okay what happened if you reduce the channel length if you reduce the channel length automatically the delay will be increased okay so uh, we have to uh, what we call we have to balance this uh, increasing in the delay and at the same time the power dissipation while uh, minimizing this transistor sizes okay so that's what here we have designing a logic gate with minimum size transistors certainly affects the dynamic performance of the circuit and this trade off between dynamic performance and power dissipation should be carefully considered in critical circuits okay right so in the circuits uh, driving a large extensive capacitive loads a uh, large fan out or uh, routing capacitances the transistor must be designed with uh, large uh, larger dimensions okay so this is what uh, we have mask level measures right so uh, how we can reduce uh, this uh, switch to capacitance uh, means these are the methods uh, or process we have reduction of switch to capacitance okay in the circuit level measures and at the same time in the system level measures and at the same time at the mask level measures okay at the mask level also we can reduce this uh, uh, switch to capacitance okay so this is about reduction of switched capacitances or switching capacitances okay thank you thank you for watching subscribe our channel